Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal, a part-time reseller on Poshmark Mercari and eBay. And today I'm going to show you how I take my photographs for reselling online. So here we are in my laundry room, but it is also my Poshmark room and where I do my photographs for my items. You'll see that I do have the overhead light on, but I will turn that off eventually. And as you can see over here, I decided to paint our like tan walls white, at least just in this one spot. And it does help a little bit with getting a white background, but of course I do edit my photographs, which I will link how I edit it up in the screen. So you can check that out if you would like to. So I have two lights currently. So this one is a ring light and this is newer and it is the 18 inch LED and it does pretty well. The only thing I will say is that like if you have a long item, you definitely need something underneath, which is why I have this small little light. This used to be part of um, umbrella lights that I had before my ring light. So I just turned this on for, um, you know, to have light down below. I don't necessarily need it for sweaters or shirts, but I do like to have it just in case. So this ring light I got off of Amazon. It was actually a Christmas present two Christmases ago. And let me turn around and I'll show you the other side. It came with white covers, so like you can remove this. Let me see. There, I don't wanna completely take it off, but you can remove it and have it without this cover. But it also came with like an orange color for, for warm lighting, but of course I want it as bright as I possibly can. It does have a little stand here for a camera or for your phone. This is what I actually use to record my YouTube videos when I'm sitting at my desk. This is bendable, this part up here. And then there are all these little knobs on the side that you can make it taller or shorter, whatever you need to do. This one, this extra light is also adjustable. Okay, so I turned on my ring light. I have my other light down here. Let me show you how bright this thing can actually get. So this is all the way up. And this is just barely on. So I like to do kind of in the middle because I don't want it to be completely whited out or drown out in color, but I also don't want it to be super dim. So for my items, I like to hang mine on a hanger. Occasionally, I will use my mannequin over here when I have something that is, you know, doesn't look great on a hanger. And all I'm using is just a small command hook. I think this holds like half a pound, but I'll tell you, I've had more than a half a pound on this, so it is pretty sturdy. And then I do have a teal or blue colored hanger that I use, kind of an, like an accent, um, so that it's consistent in each photograph. And then for pants, I just have this Ikea hanger that has the clips on the side. When I hang my items up, I like to have them as even as possible. So I will make sure that the seam is the same here and over on this side, like I can see the seam. So I know that it's on the hanger straight. The sleeves aren't crooked or anything like that. So unfortunately, I'm not able to show you actually me photographing the items because I am using my phone to film and I also use my phone to take my photographs. But I will walk you through how I would take my photographs and I will also insert pictures afterwards. So my first picture that I take is always through the ring light. Now, obviously I'm not taking this in square mode so you do see some of my window on the side here. I would take a picture here and then I would walk over I didn't really learn how to take my pictures from anyone. I just kind of figured it out on my own. I always take a picture of the sleeve. I also take a picture of the sleeve out like this so that people can see what kind of sleeve it is. And then, especially if this is like a flowy top, I will bring it out to the side and take a picture of it. And then I will take a picture of any details. So here's a toggle thing. I will take a picture of the label. This is also new with tags, so I would take a picture of that. Probably just this side. And then I will take a picture of the care tag underneath. So here's that, both sides. If there is a second side, this one has only one. And then this shirt, unfortunately, does have some staining on it, which is weird because it's new with tags. I did attempt to get them out. You'll see over here. 
I only used water though. Um, I don't really want to mess with it a lot because it is new with tags. So I kind of figured I'd let the buyer deal with it. And so there's one little spot here. Thankfully, this other spot is on the flip side, so you can't really see it. But I did just notice that there is some staining here. So obviously, I will take pictures of those. I will also circle them in my iPhone tools so that people can see exactly what they're getting. And then I will flip over the top. And I will take a picture of the back as well. So now moving on to pants, I will have to move my ring light back so that I can get a full image of the pants itself. I'm gonna move my little light back as well, but kind of keep it in the center so that it can get the light where I need it to. I would take a picture of the pants like this, and then I will come up here. I always take a photo of the pockets and I'll, these are actually sewn together so I can't put my hand in it, but I'll like put my hand in like this. And then I always take a picture of the inside crotch area just to show if there's any wear or any pilling. And then if there's any damage to the hem, I will note it or I will take a picture of it down here. I will also completely unbutton and zip unzipper it so that people can see what the closure is. Again, I will take a picture of the tag here and then I'll flip it over because the fabric tag is usually on the inside waist area. So then I will take a picture of these button details and then I will come back and take a picture of the full length pants. Then usually for pants, the tag is on the inside near the waist and I'll take a picture of that. For skirts, I hang them up on the same hanger that I hang up pants and then I will take a picture of it from here, of course. And then I will also show, like if it's a flowy skirt, I'll kind of hold it out and take a picture this way. I also will lift up the skirt to show if there's any lining. There's like a little spot right here that I will take a picture of and circle and then I'll turn it around. I will unzipper or unbutton or whatever is back here. I will show it here, take a picture of the tag, and then of course the fabric tag, which is over here. And then I will also take a picture of the big slit. Next we have jumpsuits or also maxi dresses. As you can see, this one is very long. I could potentially, you know, take my ring light all the way back here and take a picture this way, but then I'd have to clear out all of this stuff over here and over here. So instead, what I do is I use the app Pick Stitch, and I will insert a video showing you exactly how I take the pictures and insert them into the app so that it will piece them all together for me. And you'll see that I will be taking pictures in basically quadrants. So I'll do the top half, both back and front, and then I'll also take the bottom back and front and then piece it together. Okay, so here is the app Pick Stitch. And you'll see it brings up a whole bunch of templates that you can have. And I don't pay for this. You know, I think there are other options and features that you can pay for, but I just use the free ones. So you'll see in the second row, the first one, there are two panes that are vertically. So I'm going to click on that. And then in order to take a picture from the app directly here, you just click on that little aim symbol in the middle. And then there you can do um, iPhone, you could do camera. So here I'm just gonna take a picture of the top-ish half. Use photo. Done. So that's gonna load in there. I actually need to step back a little further. So I always forget, even though it looks great here, you have to kind of squeeze it in. So we're gonna cancel. We're gonna actually take another picture. So camera. So I'll step back a little bit this way. Use photo. There we go, that's better. But I am gonna zoom in on it. And then I'm going to flip over the back and take a picture of the back section. So again, go to your camera option, 
stand pretty far away and then snap it. Use photo. Done. And then there's the back half. And we're going to match it. And there we go. And then to save it, you hit export down here. You will get an ad because it's free, <laughs> but the ads are usually pretty quick. And then you just click the next button and then you hit save to your album. And then I'll do the same thing with the bottom half and I will insert a picture. After I do all of my pick stitch items, I will come in and take more detailed photographs. So I'll take a detailed photograph of this. So these are wide leg pants. So I would take a picture of the wideness of them. And this did come from a department store. I think it was shelf pulls. And you can see that this was probably dragging on the ground because these are so long. So there are some scuff marks on the bottom. I'm not going to stain treat them. I'm just gonna leave them as is, but I will obviously take a picture of that as well. And then lastly, this is how I do my flat lays. I have my smaller, just single bulb light plugged in and I did raise it a little bit. And then I have my ring light bent over and I did have to raise it a little bit as well. I just have these simple foam boards that I got from Walmart. I think they were like $1.50 a piece. Um, they've been through a lot. As you can see, there's lots of dents and probably dirt, um, but they work well. And I edit all my photos, so it's not like those dents and things really matter. But I do flat lays for items like, for example, I have a bra here that is strapless that I will not be able to hang up for it to look nice. And then just a pair of leggings that are in a little package. I also do shoes here and I do some purses and wallets and of course home goods and things like that. So let me show you how I do it. So there are two different ways that I could potentially take pictures. I could take it flat laying like this or I can, this is an item that will actually stay up, I could take it like that. I like to take pictures with things standing up like this when they're really shiny and my ring light will bounce off of it. I like to prop it up so that I don't get that glare and it works pretty well. But thankfully this is just can lay flat. So I'll do an overhead shot. Sometimes I have to stand on this little ladder over here depending on what I'm photographing, but this is pretty easy. So I'll just take a picture here and then take some more detailed pictures etc. I've never actually taken pictures of a strapless bra before so I'm definitely gonna need to get up on my little stool here and then I would just take probably this is kind of awkward maybe I prop it up I was able to get it laying flat so I would probably just take a picture this way and then the same on this side and then take pictures of the details, like here's the strap and then the brand is on the inside. And then this tells you how many ways you can wear this bra. Well, that is how I take my pictures for my reselling business. If you have any questions, comments, or other tips, make sure to leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer each and every one of them. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.